In this video, we're going to start designing our site. Now, you see right in front of you now, it says your logo here, and it gives you a size there. So you should either create yourself a logo. If you already have a logo, size it to that size. Or you could go to Fiverr.com and have someone create one for you for about $5. Now, if you have a budget of absolutely zero and you need to make one yourself, you can download a program called Paint.net. And that's what you see in front of you here. And you can create a basic one yourself, which is what I'm going to do. I'll just show you how you can create a quick, a quick one here. First of all, open up Paint.net and go to Image and Resize. And now we're going to have by absolute size here, make sure maintain aspect ratio is unchecked. And here we're going to put 250 by 85. Okay, as soon as we do that, it's going to create an outline that's the right size for us. So from here, you have a, a blank slate. Now what I would do first is I would choose the color for the background. If you want to leave it white, then you don't have to do anything else here. But let's make it, you can click on the wheel here to choose a color and it'll show up over here. You can do more here and you can pick a hex color or put your your codes in the RGBs or you can also if we go let's go back let's do less here you can click down here on a color like that so depending on how you want to find your colors. You have what's here. Here you have primary and secondary color. It's just that you can pick a primary or secondary and you can you can just click on them to switch back and forth. It doesn't really mean anything more than that. Okay, so let's let's just go with a yellow color like that, for instance. Now if you go over on the left side here, you'll see a paint bucket, and you click on that, and then come over here and click here and you now have your yellow logo logo now i want to do things in layers so we're going to do layer and add new layer now anything we do on this layer won't affect anything on the layer underneath it so if we make a mistake we only have to change or delete one layer okay and then we could put some simple text on here or we could put a picture on here now if you're going to put a picture on here it's going to need to fit in inside this this size here or it will stretch it out but I'm just gonna create a simple text okay like this and then I'm gonna go and pick the font up here so you can pick from one of the fancy fonts if you want or you can it doesn't matter what you just find one you like but I'm gonna just go with a script type font here let's go with Forte now, you need to pick your color over here now. And here's an example of primary and secondary. If you click this little arrow here, it swaps. And there, now you're set to this color. Okay, so let's go with a dark orange this time and see how that looks. So you click inside here. And then you just type what you want. So we'll go Joe's. Posies. Now, don't touch anything inside there, but if you come up here now, you can increase the size. So let's go, let's try 22. And then you can put your mouse on top of this little cross here, and then you can drag this around so it's in the middle. Now let's hit bold because it's not showing up too well. It still doesn't show up all that well. So let's change the color. Let's change it to black. So you can try different colors here. So just find a color scheme you like. Okay, so I'm going to go with that. I'm just going to make sure this is more or less centered. I'll put my little hand on here and move it where I want it. Okay, so there we have a simple little logo. So all we have to do now 
is click save up here okay and then I just navigate to where I want to save this on my computer if you save it as a PDN file you can go back in and edit it later so let's call it logo here so I'm going to save it as a PDN so that I can go back and, and change it if I want. But now what I'm going to do is do a save as. And this time I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Like that. Click save. Click OK here. And then flatten. And that's it. We now have our logo created. And we also have an editable version if we want to go back and change it by layer. So, as it says here, you can go to, to your Actions and Manage Site, go to Layout and Change the Logo. So, if you go up here, now we're going to go down here to where it says Edit Site Layout. Okay, you see we got a bar up here now. We have Header, so Enable or Disable the Header. Horizontal Navigation, Sidebar, Custom Footer, and then here we have the Site Width and some custom stuff we can do. But if we put our mouse on here, we can edit the site header. Okay, so what we can do now is change the logo. So if we click here, choose a file, and then we navigate to where it is, and we want to take the JPEG one here. It's open. And there, our logo is now on the site. Now there's other things you can do here. You can set the alignment here. So it's it's doing it by theme default as for the vertical. Okay, so we're going to use the theme default size here because that's what we created this as. Let's click OK. And there is the logo we created on the site. Okay, so let's click close here. And now let's go to more and let's go down to manage site. This is where you can set some basic settings and we set these on the way in, but I noticed that I made a little mistake here. So this is how you can go and change things if you change your mind later. So this is more or less the same stuff we had before. I have a couple more things down here. You can put your Google Analytics code in here. You have your Google Webmaster Tools, which verifies with Google that this site belongs to you. And that's only if you're going to move it to uh, your own domain rather than using the one supplied by Google. You can change the language here. You can automatically adjust to mobile for the mobile phone. We'll just do this. Not really necessary on a mobile uh, theme, but we'll go ahead and do it anyway. And down here, who can help you with the site? And you can have collaborators or anyone who can view the site. Okay, so we're done with this one. So let's save here. So at this point, we have our basic site there. What we need to do next is start adding pages. And we're going to do that in the next video.